I think I think that's the thing. There's always going to be some elements where you can't beat that human touch. I think we've all been in those situations where you're stuck in that kind of core cycle of trying to get through to a person or you're just talking to a chatbot. So I think it'll be difficult to completely erase humans, going back to the kind of point that Helen raised right at the start. Um, but I think it will really drive customer experience. So, you know, having all that data, streamlining the process, the ability to analyze data patterns, like Suzanne was saying, um, detect and prevent fraud, which will all ultimately improve customer experience. And it does free up that workforce. It increases the capacity for people to have that freedom and that ability to have one-to-one -one contact with their customers. And it's probably gonna be contact where people need it. You know, it's emotionally driven. Um, I think it was Suzanne said, you know, people, people are very, um, reluctant to talk about their financial situation. So I think if you if you have to do that, you want to do it with a human, not necessarily with AI. So there's a real balance there. And I think where companies do utilize AI, that underlying initial infrastructure is so important. You know, we talked about building confidence in the public and, and, and using it um, to, to benefit people. I think if you don't have that infrastructure, if it's glitchy and it doesn't work, people are going to be more reluctant to use it and to trust it.